Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gourmand Garden. My name is Brianna. Thank you so much for stopping by. For those of you who are new to this channel, welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you like what you see, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more fragrance content like this, please subscribe to the garden and join us and come talk about all these amazing fragrances. We have great discussions here on this channel, so I'd love for you to be a part of it. And for those of you who are returning to the garden, welcome back. Uh, this is another great video today talking about some excellent fragrances, and I just felt like they needed to get, you know, another shout out because I, I do shout these out a lot. Um, but there's good reason. I'm not gonna be shy about it. I love, I love my collection. I love what I have, even the more challenging fragrances that don't get the love and deserve that I feel like they should. But nothing beats going outside and especially after a long time and somebody says, you smell good. Like you smell really good or it smells really good in this room and you know it's you. And I just feel like there's something to be said about a fragrance that continuously gives you those compliments. And I know, yes, I know, one of the cardinal rules of being a fragrance enthusiast is you don't need to do it for the compliments, but I feel like, like an unspoken invisible ink rule is, but do it for the compliments. So this is a list of fragrances that are in my collection that give me a lot of compliments. Like, it doesn't matter what, like, I, I specifically will reach for these fragrances when I am in the mood to, to interact. And I know that I'm popping, I'm on one, and I know I'm gonna get some attention, or I'm gonna be at an event, or just, even just going to work. I just know that, you know, these fragrances right here are always gonna get the job done for me, and they're always gonna get, the recognition and attention that they deserve. So the very first one is the queen herself. I know I've talked about her nonstop, but that is because there's there's nothing more to say other than this is a compliment magnet. I will pull Delina by Parfums de Marly out anytime I wanna hear it. I'm not even kidding. This is the ultimate feminine fragrance. I just feel so confident and maybe it's because the smell is so good to me that it just translates into confidence but this is a compliment magnet. It's a beautiful blend of sweet floral and food notes. The top notes have rhubarb, lychee, and bergamot essence and it really does create a nice fresh and playful opening and then as it settles uh, the Turkish rose, peony, and vanilla come out giving it a really soft and romantic touch and then finally the base notes of cashmere and musk and vetiver give it just a warm and elegant finish. So it's perfect for those who love a feminine and sophisticated Set. It's everything that you could want in a girly girl fragrance and I absolutely love it and uh, she has to be on this list. She has to be number one. She's going to be my fragrance for life. I will always have, no matter what Parfums de Marley does, I will always have a Delina in my collection. Next is another one that I am also very obsessed with and as a gourmand lover, as a vanilla lover, you know, my very first love as far as fragrances go, as far as vanilla scented fragrances. It goes all the way back to when I was in middle school and I got my hands on Bath & Body Works Warm Vanilla Sugar. That is what started this obsession here. So when I smelled this fragrance, Ani by Nishane, it immediately transported me back to that warm vanilla sugar feeling. Like, oh my goodness, this is the greatest scent ever. And not only is it delicious, but it translates and projects. And this is what you would call a very green gourmand. There are, it's a green and spicy vanilla, which makes it so unique. But once it really settles into the base, that vanilla just pops and it shines and it projects. And I can't tell you how many times people have said, I smell super good when I wear this. The first time I had it, I got it and I was just chilling in my room and my sister was in my doorway and she was like, Oh my gosh, you need to send me the link to whatever you're wearing right now. It is phenomenal. I wore it last uh, Christmas at our Christmas gathering and the compliments were just non-stop. This is like the vanilla go-getter. I do have another vanilla fragrance on this list that comes pretty close to rivaling it, but I got to Ani first and it really is 
that girl. It's exotic, it's captivating, it opens with bergamot and green notes, blue ginger and pink pepper, which makes for a zesty and invigorating introduction. The middle notes include black currant, Turkish rose and cardamom, so those notes add some depth and then that sensuality and that spiciness to it. And then finally, when it hits the base and it gets into the patchouli, the cedar with the vanilla, the benzoin, ambergris, musk, sandalwood, it just really creates a luxurious and long-lasting finish. And it's so smooth, so elegant, it's resinous, it's ambery. It is a little earthy from that hint of patchouli, but it's not too much to me, to my nose. I just get that vanilla bomb. And like I said, it is such a great projector. I think the other notes that are in this create that nice anchoring. This would be an excellent choice, especially if you're looking for something that makes a statement, gives you that gourmand realness, and of course gets all the compliments. Next on this list is a newer fragrance to the collection. It actually just got here and I just talked about it in my last video. This is my one of my most recent pickups and this is Green Dior by Dior. It's crazy how it's already made this list, but I've already, I've only worn this a handful of times, but it's been a good amount. Like I already have a dent in this and it's maybe three weeks old. But let me tell you, there is some magic in this fragrance. This is a fragrance that my boyfriend immediately said I had to have. Like when we were smelling all of the Dior's in the store, he made it clear that this is the one. And I've already, even when I was wearing it in New York, uh, I, I think I mentioned in the last video, I decided to wear it just out and about. You know, I said, you know what? This is gonna be my fragrance for the rest of the weekend. I got compliments at Starbucks, at the bar, at the restaurant. <laughs> Then I decided to wear it to work and it gives me a boost too. I wear it and I'm like, this is what a woman smells like. This is what an adult, not even a woman, this is what an adult who has their life together and their bank accounts together and like they know how to do taxes on their own and they do quick math in their head. Like they don't need a calculator to calculate 15% or 18% for a tip. Like they can just do that. Like that's what this fragrance is giving. In the short period of time that I've owned it, I have received so many compliments from work, from strangers. You know your fragrance is good when strangers are telling you that is good. And they don't need to. They could just smell you or and say nothing. But when people go out of their way to literally chase you down after you've gotten your coffee and say, what are you wearing? It's a hit, it has to be a hit. And that's why I've given it a little dent and I've only had it for three weeks. So again, it's an elegant and timeless fragrance and it's got rose, oak moss, patchouli, bergamot, cedar, amber, and sandalwood. And this blend of floral, earthy, and woody notes, it really does create a sophisticated and versatile scent. And I think that's what I love so much about it. It is really good for any time of day. I've worn it to dinner, I've just worn it out. I, like I said, I've worn it to work and it is perfect for any occasion. And it exudes class and refinement. And it just is an excellent addition to any fragrance wardrobe. It is signature scent worthy and also a compliment magnet. Next on the list, so of course, because I do love vanillas, I thought I only had two and it turns out I have three, but this is another really really great projecting fragrance and this is one that i put my sister on to um and just uh, it just gets a lot of attention gentle fluidity gold by uh the house of francis Curzon. you know when i originally got i got um i have a small a smaller one i think a 30 ml and that one was in the gold juice but this newer one that i got uh is in the purple juice so I don't know, do y'all have the purple or the, the gold juice? I kind of miss the gold juice one. I like seeing the gold in the Gentle Fluidity Gold, but I don't mind the purple juice. I, I've heard that it's the vanilla in it that turns it this color. Um, I think I've asked this question before, but does anybody have any science on that? I don't know. Either way, all I know is this is one of the more elegant vanillas, classy, upgraded, adult, grown person vanilla that I've ever smelled. And it's got some woodiness in it. It's got that, ju love juniper and fragrances. This is also an excellent projector. The longevity is excellent on this fragrance, on all of these fragrances that I mentioned so far. Uh, the longevity is fantastic. And the scent profile itself, like I said, is an elevated, elegant, classy, and adult, adulting vanilla. 
It is warm and spicy. It's got nutmeg, vanilla, juniper berries, amberwood, coriander seeds, and musk. And the harmony of these notes really just create a versatile fragrance that can be worn by both men and women. So it is totally unisex. And it's really great for those who appreciate a well-balanced but captivating vanilla. It's just elevated, it's elegant, it really works. Uh, it works very well in cooler months. It works very well as a date night fragrance. And like I said, I always, I need to, I really need to get into it more because every time I wear it, I get compliments every single time. Now it's time to get into a fragrance line that no matter what, I, this, this whole line brings all the boys to the yard. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about this specific line. But anytime, and it doesn't matter what fragrance, it doesn't matter, it gets compliments. And that is, that is the Libres. Any of the Libres for me, I know this, this is a hate it or love it type of scent. Like the girls who love it, love it. And the girls who don't, they don't. And there really isn't an in-between I've found. But I have, it, it doesn't really matter which one that I wear. It could be the EDP, the Intense, the Parfum. It gets compliments. I don't care how niche I get. I will always have one of these baddies in my in my case because it does not matter. Someone loves it. Libre is interesting in that I found that some people, the people who don't like it, can appreciate it on other people. Like they'll smell it on other people, and they'll be like, "Dang, that's good." Like my coworker does not; she can't do any of the Libre. Anytime I wear it, though, she's like, "You, you are changing my mind about this." It really doesn't even matter if you're wearing the freshest, which is the EDP, the sweetest to me, which is the intense, and then that Roman sexy version, which is the perfume. I have a whole long video on all three of them and how much I'm in love with all of them. And I just, they're great. They're greatness to me for a reason. It's lavender, it's orange blossom, it's vanilla, depending on which one you're getting. And like I said, I have a whole video breaking down each profile and their differences and similarities and what I think about them. So go check that out if you haven't, but let me know in the comments if, if that's happening to you. Like you don't like any of the Libres, but when you smell them outside in the wild on other people, you're like, dang, that's good. Let me know if that's if that's a thing, if I'm onto something here. Like if there's, there's some science going on. And last but not least, I didn't wanna really get into this fragrance when it first came out because as you can see, I'm good on vanillas. I've got plenty of them. I didn't really think too much of this one. Then I got the little travel size and I was like, this is some really great quality juice. Like, okay, she she came through. And the she that I'm talking about is Miss Mona Catan giving us the beautiful Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli 64 by Kaylee. This is so luxurious and indulgent and spiced but sweet. I love the direction that this fragrance goes into from start to finish. It has a beautiful, beautiful scent profile. It is just an irresistible blend of sweet, floral, and woody and spicy notes. So it opens with vanilla orchid, jasmine, and golden rum, which create a rich and captivating opening. And then as it evolves, that vanilla infusion, vanilla syrup, salute, tonka beans, spicy rose bouquet, smoky leather, and creme brulee add that touch of opulence and warmth like those notes boy she was in her bag with this one she Mona was in her bag with this fragrance and then finally the base notes of sugar patchouli musk brown sugar amber and royal oud really give it a sensual and long-lasting finish and it is perfect for those who appreciate a decadent and sophisticated scent and when I wore this for, I gave it a week and then I, I remember this was like my December my final like December purchase uh, before going on my no buy mm, I got compliments all week all week and I remember we were about to go to lunch and I'm standing in the lobby and all my coworkers were like okay it was like six of them they were like it it smells so good up in here it's and I'm like I'm thinking like what could it be? Could it be moi? And first of all, I've made myself known as the fragrance person at work. So everybody at once kind of turned to me 
And I'm like, I don't know, it could be me. It might. What are y'all smelling? And they started to describe uh, the scent profile, which was sweet and a little spicy. And I'm like, okay, it might be me. This fragrance is so good that my director, who is a D&G light blue loyalist, like that's her signature scent. When I wore this to our last uh, department meeting, she smelled, I, she said, I love that. That is, that is amazing. Like that's right up my alley. Like it's grown, but it's good. Like, what is that? And so I, I actually just ended up having the travel with me. Um, and I just let her have it. I was like, well, I already have a full size bottle that I, and I can always get this again. It's not that deep. So you can take this. And she was like, this is, this is a phenomenal fragrance. This really is as good as they say. Like, I absolutely love how this came out. Like, this is such an elevated version. And I know it's supposed to be an elevated version of Vanilla 28. This is probably my favorite from the entire collection. Like, I need a bigger bottle of this. Like, this is not, this is not going to do. I need, I need the big boy because it is so good. And there you have it, everyone. Those are my most complimented fragrances to date. Let me know in the comments, what are your most complimented fragrances? Put me on, let me know what, what is out here that's getting you chose in the streets and getting your drinks paid for and doors held open for you. Like, what is bringing all the boys to the yard? Y'all, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you have a safe and wonderful weekend. I will see you in the next one. Bye.